You ever ask somebody to do something for you or expect them to be somebody who you thought they were and you ended up being disappointed? The real question that you have to ask is, who's the person that was in the wrong? Was it you or was it that person? When somebody shows you who they are, it's your job to believe them. They're never gonna lie. They're gonna tell you who they are and their actions and the way that they move. The problem is you just expect them to do what you would do in that situation. Once you figure out how that person moves, it's your responsibility to treat them as such and meet them at that level. Stop expecting people to be you and handle things the way that you would handle things and just understand that this is who they are, this is who they're always gonna be, and this is how I have to approach the situation whenever I'm dealing with that person. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Bones to go back with another banger. Another banger. If you're just not tuned in, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn those post notifications on because I'm bringing you weekly content on this channel. This haircut's gonna be like a mid to kind of a drop skin fade with two parts in the back of the hair. Uh, natural on the beard, enhancements on the lineup, curly top. Pretty much just a finesse job all together, man. I'm gonna put my boy in the game. Like, as you can tell, my boy ain't been to me in months. He stopped coming. He'd been gone so long. I thought he had a new barber. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I'm like, damn, my dog keep them. Found a new barber. Stopped messing with me. Then I saw him book that appointment. And he walked inside. And it was a great reminder of the loyalty that my dog got from me, man. And I'm always, always excited to cut his hair because he really lets me have free range. Like, he's one of those clients that any haircut that you put on him is gonna look good. He's, he's well dressed. He's well kept. Keeps himself together. He's a model. So he allows me to really be creative on his hair because he really appreciates the art aspect of what I do with barbering. So what I'm doing right now is I already established my first initial bald line with my, my gamma trimmers. And I'm coming in with my wireless masters with the three universal guard. Going with the grain. I typically don't do this, but I want to try something new. And it actually worked out pretty good. So one thing I did was a three with the grain just to kind of remove a lot of that bulk that's on the side of the head. Just so I don't have to do too much clip over comb. And uh, kind of set my steps up for the next for the next uh, transition with the fade. Coming in with my half, you know, making sure that C-stroke motion is consistent all the way around. Consistency is a guarantee to make sure that you'll be successful in anything that you do, including your fades and your haircuts. So I'm coming in, just combing the hair, man. Just I was so excited to do this haircut. I, I knew, I told my boy, I was like, bro, he came in with his girl, actually, for her to get a haircut. And I saw how crazy his hair looked. And I was like, bro, could we just, could I reschedule your appointment for a different day? And like on my day off and come in and just do your haircut for YouTube. Because I know like I'm going to kill this haircut. And being my guy who he is, it was no problem. No problem. So now I had to, ble I had to bless him. I had to put him in the game. What I'm doing right now was just removing that bulk that was above that half line with my clip over comb. Just trying to create that nice silhouette to set myself up again for the next area of my fade, the next guidelines for my fade. I'm just going in wherever little dark spots that I see, making sure that I'm combing the hair in a proper hair growth pattern. Making sure everything is nice and consistent all the way around. Also making sure that I don't dig too much into the scalp with my comb. Digging too much in, into the scalp with your comb will create a bald line. It will create a ball line. You have to understand that these combs, yes, they can give you a lot of range on them. But if they're not held and positioned properly, they are a nightmare and it will ruin the haircut for you. That's why I always suggest to newcomers that are messing with or trying to get into that clip over comb technique. Start with a one guard on it completely open. And as you develop your technique and kind of get that comfortable feeling with it, then you start to work yourself down to using no guards coming back again i seen there was a little bulk right there so i'm just scooping it with the with the three universal guard just trying to knock off the bulk right there as much as i possibly can the silhouette of the head is going to look something similar to like a flat top so that's why i'm going straight up with my clip over comb if y'all tuning into my channel this is your first time i appreciate you taking the time to check out my work uh, I also, I hope that you enjoyed the beginning segment of the video. That's how all my videos are going to be structured from this point forward. You're going to get some inspiration as far as haircut. Uh, you're going to get some direction as far as your haircuts and how you should structure your cuts and your fades and different techniques and things like that in the barber industry. But I'm also going to drop you gems on real life stuff. I'm going to be bringing something completely different to the gram to 
I had to make sure that my page stood out different from every barber that's on on YouTube. You know, you want to stand out, you want to grab attention, you want to you want to build things up. You have to do something that everybody else isn't doing, and I don't see anybody on YouTube that's doing that. So I figured, hey man, let's run with it. Instead of having some big, consistent uh, intro that's generic for every single video, I'm coming in here and I'm dropping gems on y'all, visually stimulating. With the drink, shout out to my boy Horace, the old gongly that that bar is actually in his garage, built from hand. Shout out to my boy Wishlay for the beats. His beats are the ones from that video at the beginning and the one that you'll see on every single, any any content that you see on my YouTube or on my Instagram page will strictly be beats from Wishlay. So if y'all want, his info will be listed in the description below. Getting back to the fade, as you can see, I'm just buffing this thing out right now, man. I didn't have to use a whole bunch of guards to get the desired look that I wanted to. That's the importance of understanding your tools and understanding the range of what your clippers can do and what the comb can do with, a hip, with being a barber. <clears throat> you don't always need 10, 15 guards to get a nice, smooth transition fade. And I feel like with this texture of hair, this ethnic texture of hair, clip over comb is extremely ben beneficial due to the fact that a lot of people, a lot of this hair, this texture of hair is curly. And sometimes the guard won't cut it as smooth as a tight, a tight knit or a tight knit comb or a comb with a lot of teeth. Now I'm just coming in and just doing my detail work, just buffing out, taking out that bottom line right there, using that corner of the blade, catching the little dark spots that I may see within the haircut, making sure everything is consistent and everything flows from top to bottom. You can look at the fade and you're going to say, damn, that boy Bones really did his thing. He took his time. He was paid attention to detail attention to detail is what definitely separates your haircuts from every other barber every other barber this segment of the video this segment of my haircut is what makes bones cuts bones cuts i can show you how to do the steps that i do for everything but it's going to be impossible for you to emulate my style of detailing detailing is what separates every barber from the uh, from the next barber in the shop everybody has different ways of establishing or or uh Different ways of, of polishing that fade out. Different ways of them using their detail work. So it's very important that you know you follow my steps and stuff like that I do. But don't be afraid to develop your own technique. The goal here is not to make you cut like bones. But the goal here is to give you some advice on how on, on making the process of you getting to where your style and your technique is accomplished. dark spots obviously you know with his hair being so long and then knocking it down the hair is going to be sticking straight up and i can't put a hot towel on his head to lay those hairs down so that's why corner of the blade and that that feathering style of uh that feathering fading style is very important for this tex this texture of hair and for this uh this actual haircut for my boy keith Also, if y'all have like any suggestions, any haircuts that you want to see on the channel, don't be afraid to leave them in the comment section below. Uh, any questions that you do have, drop them in the comment section below. I will definitely do my best to reply to them. And if I don't, shoot me a DM on Instagram. And we'll definitely, you know, I'll do my best to get back to you and try to help you out any way that I possibly can. This for me is actually my favorite part of the haircut, honestly, because I feel like it's kind of like writing a paper, you know, setting your guidelines on the haircut is like you creating, you know, that hypothesis, that 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 rough draft. But now is when you know you bringing everything together, you you, you that polishing work, that that detail work. This is what makes that cut stand out. This is what makes that cut get all those likes. This is what makes the cut go viral. It's this attention to detail and just this polishing work, man. The polishing work is so 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 important. For, for uh for haircuts so important don't turn into no robot where you're doing all right i gotta take this line out with a one all right i took the line out with a one now i gotta go to a two from a two two and a half or three three and a half nah don't be afraid to get in there use that corner of your blade use that comb try different clippers because some clippers guards are longer than the others me personally i love using the mashes because i feel like it gives me so much more range than a wall clipper does and masters is the clipper that i learned how to cut hair with so that uh that sense of familiarity is, is extremely big with me when it comes to these clippers and it's honestly it's very nostalgic to me as well so i'll never stop cutting with masters masters is just those are my babies man now granted i do have other clippers but 
masters are definitely my go-to i feel like those are the best clippers that's going to help you get the best kind of detail i'm fading at the top of his beard like i said before he didn't want any enhancements on the beard if you're looking for enhancements on beard on my channel i'll do my best to get it but a lot of my clients don't like it they only like the enhancements on the front lineup but i'll definitely see what i can do so i can show you guys how i apply enhancements to a beard Hey man, shout out to that boy Wishlay, man, for the beat, man. That's my brother right there. Always, always got the beats ready for me. I just been taking too long to get this these YouTube thing going. He he had he said I had these in the duffel ready for you, bro. Ready for you. Now I'm just cleaning it up. Cleaning it up, making sure that I'm not establishing any more lines to the fade. Making sure that behind the ear section is as clean as possible, you know, but I still, I don't want to push it too far in to where the back of the cheekbone is exposed on the beard. I feel like the beard should always cover up the back of the cheekbone. That's just my preference. I don't like seeing beards drawn out or pushed in way too far. I feel like it, it takes away from the length of the beard. I hit the front hairline with a one, <clears throat> a one open with the grain to knock down and to help me establish a uh a hairline so i can create an edge up instead of trying to push it back into the longer curly hair i combed down some of the baby hairs and i created another lineup shout out to gamma for the best brushes in the game right now uh i know some people you like combs me personally i'm not a comb guy whatsoever as far as when it comes to my lineup and then my fading if only time i'm using a comb is for the clip over comb to really remove bulk I just feel like the the brush just helps me see helps me clean the canvas out a lot easier to make sure that my fades my guidelines are properly established now i'm coming in just putting the two cat scratches in the back this is just for an accent just to give the haircut a little pop to it other than you know the fade and the hair color like i said my boy keith allows me to do whatever i want on his hair his style is very loud in your face so this will fit him perfectly perfectly will fit him so I'm coming in, you know, just making sure I'm not pushing too hard because what I, the last thing you want to do is you want to put a cut in a, in a part. That's the that's the absolute worst thing that you can do because the part's already going to stick out because it's a part. And then you want to add a cut in there. So now the person's going to see the part and they're going to see the cut. So make sure that you, you know, take your time with that. It's no rush. Let the clippers do the work. Try not to keep that pressure on there too heavy. Now I'm coming in with my compressor and using the Sean Cuts hair. Sean Cuts here got I, yo I love his cars man um I think they're sold out right now if I'm not mistaken I had actually had one of my barbers going there yesterday she's trying to buy some but it said they were sold out so Sean man let's get these things back on the market bro just lining up that edge just trying to keep it nice and natural man nice and natural obviously I could have went down a little bit further and got it sharp but that's not what the client asked for our job is to provide that give advice you know but at the end of the day, it's what they want because they're the ones that have to walk around with it. I'm coming in right now, hitting that raise on the front line, making sure I pull that skin. You definitely make sure you pull that skin because one thing is going to help the blade slide a lot smoother. And the second, it's going to it's going to force those hairs that you would have normally be able to get to stand straight up. This is your before. I told you I'm coming with bangers. My boy came in the shop looking crazy. Got the ball spots in his head. And this is your after for my guy Keith, man. I told y'all I'm coming with heat. Nothing but bangers. Make sure y'all tune in. Com turn on those notifications. Like, comment, subscribe. I will see y'all next week. It's your boy Bones to Go. I'm out.